Chances are you use ductile iron pipe every day and don't even know it. The underground pipes that bring your drinking water are cast from ductile iron. So are the sewer pipes that take away household waste. Ductile iron is more flexible than ordinary gray iron. Under pressure, a ductile iron pipe will bend before it will break. Ductile iron pipes are made of 90% recycled metal and have a lifespan of hundreds of years. Production begins in the pipe factory's scrapyard. These old cars are on their way to a shredder that chews them up into little bits. The factory sorts the bits by material. It discards the plastic, sells the aluminum and copper, but keeps the steel and iron. The factory also gets scrap steel from demolished buildings and other sources. After analyzing the chemical composition, it sorts the shredded metal accordingly. The crane operator uses an industrial magnet to gather a specific weight of each type of steel and iron. The shredded metals go into a blast furnace fueled by coke, a form of coal. At 1400 degrees Celsius, the iron and steel liquefy while impurities are carried away. Workers then add magnesium. This turns the metal from ordinary gray iron into stronger, more flexible ductile iron. The molten iron travels down a trough into a casting machine. It enters a spinning mold. Centrifugal force spreads the iron against the mold walls. A cooling system chills the walls, so the iron solidifies within seconds. Then an extractor pulls out a six meter cast iron pipe, the standard industry length. Before each casting, workers insert a round form, called a core, into one end of the pipe mold. Iron fills the void between the core and mold, forming a flared edge, called a bell. The core also seals off that end of the mold, preventing molten iron from flying out during casting. To connect pipes, installers fit the bell of one pipe over the straight end of the next one. A rubber gasket seals the link together. They can make pipes of different diameters with the same casting machine by changing the size of the mold inside. After extracting the pipe, the factory weighs it and measures the wall thickness to ensure everything meets specifications. <laughs>